Well, well done for making it this far. All we've got to do now, I say all we've got to do now, is remove the uh, four little hex bolts holding the outer casing of the uh, controller. The left one on this scooter obviously is a rear motor, the front, right one is a front motor. You probably guessed that. Let's just take the casing off. Oops, there you go. Right. Here we go. Right, so let's just release the uh, <coughs> output wires uh, from the controller to the motor. There's a standard yellow, green, blue wires. You notice these are reverse the green and blues reverse because they've got to be anti-face the front motor the motor and the front will have uh, yellow to yellow green to green blue to blue right i think it's is uh we're going to need a uh, a nine mil spanner Correction, eight mil spanner. Of course, if you're doing this, you should really disconnect the battery. I'd like to say I know what I'm doing. Anyway, we'll just proceed with the battery connected. I hope there's no loud explosions. disconnect these three cables and come back in a minute okay you've just dis disconnected the green yellow and blue uh, from the output of the controller to the input of the motor you've got a five wire molex connector here which is the hall effect hall effect is the um, guy I think is Ernest or Edwin or Eric um, discovered back in uh, oh, 1897 or something I think it was Hall effect is the uh, relationship of current to the magnetic field in a perpendicular direction so anyway blah 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 let's get this done then you have the direct 60 volt feed coming from the battery there we go so there we have it we should now be able to feed the cables through <laughs> he says oh, right well apologies for not keeping you guys in the loop as I'm doing it I think you'd have found it quite boring and quite frankly I didn't know what I was doing because every controller and every wiring is different for every scooter pretty much but you have the standard color encoding for the output of the controller to the motors and the hall effect centers but the electronic brakes the throttle um, everything else is pretty much bespoke so I was making notes as I was going along myself but anyway this bitch is out and let's take it apart and find out what the problem is with it right. guarantee it's a MOSFET but let's see if the MOSFETs are readily available we can replace them all right Thanks for staying with me. So just as I suspected, there is a faulty MOSFET. Well, you can see it's slightly off color anyway, but doing a quick, quick diode test shows that it is definitely uh, definitely faulty. And um, it's a NCE 85H21C. And looking at the data sheet here, uh, and channel, um, I'm not going to change change the the MOSFET for what it's designed to do. So um, okay, thermal characteristics, blah blah blah. Right, where to buy one from? God, God only knows. NC, right? So uh, let's have a look. 
71, it was 71 dollar what nah oh, that's not too bad one dollar hmm. see if I can find something cheaper anyway there you go so we're talking about the dollar uh, the MOSFET ah. oh what a bummer ah that's more like it so AliExpress doing three pound nine twenty nine for uh, five pieces was that 329 each if you buy five pieces anyway well there you go they are obtainable and it's cheaper than a new controller 